Hi friends, in this video we will discuss about microarray. So what does the word array means? Array means it is the orderly arrangement of samples. So orderly arrangement of samples is known as array. So microarray means that it is the orderly arrangement of DNA or cDNA or even any other oligonucleotides. So it is an orderly arrangement of DNAs. So they are arranged in a solid support. So this solid support is either made up of glass or silicon. And to this solid support, the DNA is being attached. That is, the DNA is being immobilized to the solid support. It is attached in a organized, a predetermined grid fashion. So each spot of the DNA is known as a prop and this represents a single gene. So the sample spot is that is the diameter of the sample spot is less than 200 microns. So the diameter of a sample is less than 200 microns and there would be tens or thousands of such spots. The so other names used for microarray are DNA microarrays, DNA chips, gene chips, DNA arrays, gene arrays, biochips, etc. So, what is the principle behind a microarray? So, the basic principle is hybridization, that is, the hybridization between nucleic acid strands. So this diagram shows a microarray that is a solid support to which a DNA is being loaded. So as you can see in the diagram, there are hundreds and thousands of such spots and each spot is less than 200 microns in diameter. So for this, we use a property which is known as complementarity. So complementary strands are paired among themselves based on hydrogen bonds. And for this, the samples are labeled and they are labeled based on a fluorescent dye. So the basic principle of DNA microarray is hybridization. At least two samples are hybridized to a chip. A complementary nucleic acid sequences between a sample and a probe is attached on chip. And this is done based on the hydrogen bonding. So the, the sample and the probe which are not complementary, that is which is non-specific bonding, is being unattached and is washed out during the washing step. So only the complementary nucleic acids remain attached whereas the others is being unattached that is it is washed out during the next step that is during the washing step. So, the fluorescently labeled target sequence, when it gets binded to the prop sequence, it generates a signal. That is, a signal is being generated when a target, that is fluorescently labeled target, binds to a prop. So, this signal depends upon a hybridization condition, washing after hybridization, etc. So, the total strength of the signal depends upon the amount of target sample present. So now, let us discuss the two types of DNA microarrays. One is the cDNA based microarray and the second is oligonucleotide based microarray. So, what is spotted DNA arrays? Spotted DNA arrays is also known as cDNA arrays. Here the chips are prepared using cDNA and this is also known as cDNA chips, 
cDNA microarray and prop DNA. So here the cDNA is being amplified and this is being amplified by PCR. So then these are immobilized on a solid support and this solid support is usually of nylon fiber of glass slide. So here the probe DNA is being loaded into a spotting spin and this is done by capillary action. In cDNA microarray it is that is the DNA is being delivered either mechanically or using robotics. Next we will discuss about the next type which is oligonucleotide array also known as gene chips. So in this microarray, short DNA that is oligonucleotides are spotted onto the array. So the main feature of a oligonucleotide array is that each gene is normally represented by more than one prop that is a single gene is represented by more than one prop. So this is how a gene chip looks like. So a gene chip is a stamp sized and it contains half a million or even more tiny cells. So each cell holds a DNA which further is from different genes. So this is how a gene chip is being built. So a gene chip is just a stamp sized and it contains a half a million of cells or even more number of cells. So a half millions of cells are present in a gene chip. So each cell holds DNA which are from different genes. What is the difference between a cDNA microarray? and a oligonucleotide microarray. In a cDNA microarray, the PCR products of cDNA clones are B taken, whereas in oligonucleotide microarray, it is the oligonucleotides which are taken. In cDNA microarray, the long sequence is being used, whereas in oligonucleotide, a short sequence is being used. cDNA microarray uses two color array platform whereas oligonucleotide uses one color array platform. cDNA is more variable than oligonucleotide so the oligonucleotide is more reliable. The spot is unknown in a cDNA whereas the spot is known in an oligonucleotide microarray cDNA microarray is more cheaper than oligonucleotide microarray. In cDNA microarray, one probe per gene, whereas in oligonucleotide, it's 11 to 16 probes per gene. 